Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 40 in chapter 17. Chapter 17 is about temperature, thermal expansion, ideal gas law. So there we have a container, right? And the mass of the oxygen gas is given. So the mass is 30 kilograms. In this way, very easily we can find the more number N1 as the mass M1 divided by the this uh, oxygen 32 times 10 power negative 3 kilogram per mole. The pressure at this part is given 8.2 atm, right? The next one tells us then we need to replace by the helium. This helium gas with the same temperature and ask to produce the pressure as 7 atm, ask you the mass about the later helium gas. So P2 is given 7 atm, and then the mass we don't know, but we know similarly this is helium, so N2 equal to M2 divided by helium, this number is 4, right? 4 times power 10, 10 power negative 3 kilogram moles. Now we can, can we find the pressure? Yes, we can consider the ideal gas law. PV equal to NTR, right? Then we can write it in this way. You can see P over N equal to T times R divided by V. We can see the temperature is constant because it tells you the same temperature, right? The R is a constant. The V is a volume for this container, constant. Therefore, P over N equal to a constant. So initially state P1 over N1 equal to P2 divide over N2, agree? Yes, but we need to find M2, right? M2 is uh, related to N2. So now you can say this is N1, N2, right? So we need to com convert this uh, function as a ratio of the P and the mass, agree? So we keep going. From this function, we can say P1 over P2 equal to N1 over N2. Agree? Yes. Now there we can relate it to the more number n with the mass. Right? N1 over n2, so you can say n1 over n2, you can say it's just m1 over m2 times 4 over 32. So now we get it there. It is m1 over 8 times m2. Right? Now we can get the function about m2. So m2 is p1 times 8 m2 equal to m1 times P2, so now M2 equal to just P2 times M1 divided by 8 P1. Input the known quantity inside, get the answer there. Thank you.